students let us understand blood coagulation you all would have noticed that whenever there is an injury to the blood vessel the blood starts bleeding out and in a healthy individual the bleeding of blood stops within a very short time this cessation of blood bleeding within a very short time in a healthy individual is called as blood coagulation or blood clotting in absence of blood coagulation the blood leaks out in a huge amount from the body and this blood loss can even lead to death so blood coagulation is a very important property of the blood in humans the blood coagulation can be explained in three simple steps which are the vasoconstriction the platelet plug formation and the formation of fibrin web vasoconstriction refers to the contraction of smooth muscles of the blood vessels so as to narrow down the lumen of the blood vessel to reduce the blood flow platelet plug formation refers to accumulation of platelets and formation of plug near the site of injury to the blood vessel and formation of fibrin web refers to the formation of fibrin fibers as a network to form a mesh like network near the platelet plug so as to completely obstruct the bleeding of blood so let us see how the mechanism of blood coagulation occurs the process of blood coagulation is also referred to as hemostasis so whenever there is an injury to the blood vessel hemostasis is activated the blood clotting mechanism mainly explains the formation of fibrin web near the platelet plug there are 13 different proteins that are associated with the blood clotting mechanism which are also called as the blood clotting factors so the mechanism of blood clotting can be initiated in two different pathways which are the intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway in the intrinsic pathway whenever the blood is exposed to the collagen near the site of injury factor 12 is activated factor 12 forms a prothrombin activator and in extrinsic pathway whenever blood is exposed to the vasculature wall factor 8 is activated factor 8 forms a prothrombin activator so in both the pathways the prothrombin activator is formed prothrombin activator converts the inactive prothrombin factor into active thrombin factor this occurs in presence of calcium the factor thrombin now converts the soluble fibrinogen fibers into insoluble fibrin fibers this insoluble fibrin fibers forms a mesh near the platelet plug and it finally forms a clot which obstructs the bleeding of blood this is how the blood clotting mechanism occurs in the humans during the bleeding make your concept stronger and stay ahead in your learning journey join me and other subject experts on the tutor app for daily free concept classes download the app now